Hey guys, Colleen with the English Law Group here, and today I want to talk to you about something a little different than my normal updates. I wanted to talk to you about some of the stuff that's happening in the wills, power of attorney, probate, and life insurance side of this pandemic. We are getting a lot of phone calls from people who want to update their estate plan, and we can totally do that over the phone, and we can even execute them in some situations over a Zoom call and just notarize them and have them witness it witnessed once they get back to the office, the paper that is. So we definitely have the capability of doing that. I also wanna let you know, my husband does life insurance with Western and Southern, and he's had numerous phone calls from their underwritings, underwriting uh, department talking about, they don't know how people who have been, um, who have contracted COVID-19, how that's gonna affect their underwriting later on for life insurance. So if you don't have a life insurance policy, it's always a good idea to at least have a term policy, but really good idea to talk to your life insurance, your life insurance um, provider and just see if maybe you need to up it or if you're good where you are, anything like that. Um, people are losing their jobs, their life insurance are lapsing from those jobs. And it's a good idea to go ahead and have life insurance in place. If you're gonna leave minor children, you really do wanna fund their upbringing if something were to happen to you or to you and your spouse or anything like that. Um, again, we don't know if COVID-19 is going to change underwriting if you've contracted it, if, you, if there will be different requirements for testing or anything like that, nobody knows, it's up in the air. So just like anything else, it's always a good idea to have those policies in place um, prior to getting sick so that uh, you'll be locked in and you'll have those provided for. If you have any questions, you can call me, you can call my husband, Alan, and uh, we'd be happy to, to talk you through some of that stuff. But again, there's so many unknowns at this point that it's just a really good idea to have, number one, have your will, your estate plan in order, make sure if you've gotten those documents provide, or taken care of in a different state that they actually do comply with the laws in which the state you're located now where you're domiciled and uh, make sure that you have adequate life insurance and that you know if you were to contract this disease that you already have it and you don't have to worry about underwriting requirements all right colleen balderson and i'll talk to you guys soon thanks stay well